Okay, now when it comes to transferring data from your laptop to your iPhone, the first thing that comes to your mind is AirDrop. It's fast, convenient, and works just great. However, it works only if you have a Mac. As for Windows, well, AirDrop isn't the solution. So if you're a Windows user and you're looking for a method to transfer data wirelessly to your iOS device, this video is for you. Hey guys, this is Varun from Guiding Tech and today I'll be talking about five different apps that you can use to transfer data wirelessly from your Windows laptop to your iPhone. Let's get started. Okay, so the first app on this list is ShareIt. Now, I know it kind of gained its popularity on Android, but the app works just as good on iOS. In fact, it works just a tad bit better since there aren't those on your face ads in here. Now to use it to transfer data from your PC to your iPhone, you'll have to download the client on both the devices. Then simply click on send or receive on either device, depending upon who is the sender and the receiver. It works great, files transfer fast and is quite easy to use. Now the only issue here is that the Windows app for ShareIt is kind of unstable, which may lead you to looking into other alternatives. Which brings us to the next app, which is AirDroid. Now I know it has the word droid in its name, but it works just as good for iPhones. Now to use it, download the app on your iPhone and head to the My Devices tab. Here, tap on AirDroid Web and enter the URL onto the web browser on your PC. Ideally, the app would ask you to sign in, but you can continue without it as well. Also, just because it's iOS and there's sandboxing, you can only access the AirDroid's own folder. Okay, so while there are a lot of things about AirDroid that I like and work really good, there are certain things that make me not want to use it. For instance, there's the sign-in thing that pops up every now and then. Well, thankfully, there's a different alternative for it, which is called file transfer. Now I know that's not a very unique name, but it works just as good as AirDroid. And well, yeah, it is pretty much the same thing without all that sign-in information needed. So to use it, just tap on the receive button and enter the URL shown into the web browser on your PC. The process after this is pretty simple. Just drag and drop the files you wish to transfer to your iPhone. It's super fast and quite reliable. Okay, so now here's another app that you can use to transfer data. But the thing is, it works inside the Windows Explorer itself. It's called F-Sharing and what it does is generate an IP address that you can access from your Explorer itself. The easier way, just go to run and type the URL as shown and voila, you're in. In terms of speeds, it works pretty much the same way as the other apps. But there are no web ads here and you can also get the look of a traditional file browser. Now the last app on this list is Send Anywhere, which is my favorite app in this genre. The process here is quite simple. It uses Wi-Fi Direct to transfer files without using internet. Simply head over to sendanywhere.com and click send and select the file you want to share. Now all you have to do is enter the six digit generated key onto your iPhone. You can do that from within the app, but if you're short on space, you can open the same link in your phone's web browser and download the file directly from there as well. Now it's quite convenient and works seamlessly on both ends. That said, there are a few caveats here and there. For instance, you can only transfer one file in one go. And secondly, if your device does not support Wi-Fi Direct, your data might be consumed. Okay, now before we wrap things up, here's a quick tip for all your video lovers out there. If all you want to transfer data from your PC to your iPhone just to watch movies or other sort of video content, VLC is your go-to app. In order to transfer apps, you can also use the app to generate a URL and simply drag and drop your files and they will automatically load up inside the app. It works great and is super convenient and is my go-to recommendation for all your video buffs out there. Well, that was it. As always, you can find the download links to all of these apps and services in the description box below. Also, if there's any other app that you like to use which wasn't mentioned on this list, make sure to sound off below. This is Varun from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.